so I'm filling in for him today. I'm Vice Mayor Jeff Blueball. We have a few updates for you today. The hotspot update on February 7th, we launched a program that brings internet services to low income families in our community. Neighborhood resource centers at Atwood and Colvin received 20 Wi-Fi hotspots, each that the community could check out. The goal is to help bridge the digital divide that over a quarter of the families in our community experience. Within 26 years of launching the program, all hotspots were checked out. Most of them were checked out to families in the adjacent communities. Over 34.5% of the usage was directly related to businesses and to training. We heard from some of our users on their experience. Crystal, she used the hotspot to complete an online training program. Jamie homeschools her children and utilized the hotspot to help with educating her kids. Gregory was recently laid off and used the hotspots to apply for employment. We're glad to help bridge the digital gap to put people back to work and further their education. We want to thank T-Mobile for donating these devices and for helping to make this program possible. And just a reminder that you can check out the hotspots for two weeks at a time by visiting the Atwater or the Colvin Neighborhood Resource Centers. So now we have an ozone update and I'd like to have Bailey come up and help us out with that. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Mayor. So ozone season begins tomorrow, March 1st, and will continue through the end of October, October 31st. We monitor air quality in Wichita and surrounding areas throughout the year, but ozone peaks during uh, these coming months. I know that's hard to believe because it's so cold outside, but in the next month or two, we'll start to see agricultural burning and increased temperatures that can lead to higher ozone. We make an extra effort to reduce our contribution to air pollution because it's unhealthy for everyone, and especially so for children, the elderly, those with asthma or other respiratory conditions. In addition, if our area goes out of compliance with air quality standards, businesses could face stricter regulations and our citizens could pay higher costs for things like fuel. Other negative consequences that result from going out of attainment include mandatory vehicle inspections, maintenance programs, reduced speed limits, higher energy costs potentially, and loss of federal highway and transit funding. This comes at an estimated cost of at least $10 million to the Wichita community. So when ozone is expected to be high, we issue an ozone alert to let people know that they can do their part to reduce ozone forming emissions. On high ozone days, the city of Wichita adjusts our daily operations by suspending mowing and lawn, lawn maintenance for the day, rescheduling any painting or solvent use, suspending all non-essential trips, teleconferencing when possible, or rescheduling meetings that are non-essential at a later date. Actions that you can take to reduce ozone forming emissions include the use of Wichita Transit or other public uh, transportation, carpooling, reducing your energy use, reducing idle times at things like drive throughs pharmacies, banks, and railroad crossings. Just shut off your vehicle um, or make a trip inside if possible. Postpone errands like mowing, painting, and solvent use until after 6 p.m. and fuel up after the sun goes down instead of earlier in the day. <coughs> we have lots more information available at beairawareks.org on how to be more air aware and how to receive ozone alerts. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bailey. Appreciate it. Next, we'll go on to the UNCF breakfast. And it's just a reminder that the 2019 Wichita Mayor's Breakfast, the, which benefits the United Negro College Fund, will take place on Friday, March 22nd at 7.30 a.m. at the Advanced Learning Library. The event will raise money to allow UNCF to continue to provide scholarship and assistance to students in Wichita and support UNCF members' institutions. 
The tickets are $40 for an individual or a table for $1,000. To buy tickets, go to uncf.org slash events. We also, have scholarship, we also have sponsorship opportunities available. As we work to fight the brain drain in Wichita, we must invest in the talent of tomorrow and help our kids receive higher educations. I hope to see you there. That concludes the briefing. If there's any questions, please let me know. All right. Well, I hope everybody stays warm this weekend. It's going to be a cold one. Hopefully spring will be right around the corner with this being the last day of February. Have a good weekend, everybody.